Hi, it's Laura at Hyper Stamper. Today's junk journal is from 1919, so 105 years old, this book cover. And it's called Valley of the Giants. And you can see the little fella on the horse here and the magnificent size of the trees. So it's just a wonderful, wonderful book. I love the image on there. I've wrapped around some vintage crochet from the back and had to do a lot of repair on the spine here. It was in many pieces. So I put some uh, fun vintage trim on here and just some tool and a vintage button here. And let's take a look inside of this pretty little journal. I've kept the original pages in here, but because the, the book was in such bad condition, these had come apart. So I love this, the original staining here. We've got the original uh, date over here. And that is the original plate, the only plate in the book, actually. And it's fabulous. It's just gorgeous. You could frame it. Look at the sun coming through and the, the man and the child down here. It's lovely. I love it so much. This is just a vintage, actually, it's more than vintage, um, page from a typing instruction book. And this is a 1943 piece here that I turn into a window pane pocket. And then... Um, a journaling tag that I just made out of all kinds of antique paper. A 1930s children's book page there and a 1950s bingo card. I love it. Just made a little pocket out of a children's book page there and an early 1900s uh, American gardening book here in black and white. And this is um, a page from the 1930s. Or 40s. I'm sorry, I do forget. Um, and it is just a, a log page from the Beacon Lodge, which is a gentleman's lodge. This is really cool. This is a, a business postcard. Um, it's a receipt that they would have sent in the mail from 1886. Isn't that neat? Breadmore and Company. I love it. And the stamps were pre printed on these, and they would have purchased those at the post office for their businesses. Another wonderful Mother Goose, 1930s page here. And just more of the other same on the flip side. Another 1930s children's book page here. And here is a little floating pocket there. And this is just, um, it's actually from the vintage book. It's just super, super white. And then this is from National Velvet, an antique book. This wonderful horse image here. And this is some vintage school book paper, lined paper, just made into a little journaling spot right there. Bloop, bloop. And then on the other side is some more antique paper and just a French piece up there. So that's kind of fun, right? Lots going on there. And just some more vintage flip chart paper, vintage 1950s sewing book paper. Just made this lovely cluster up here, the creative spirit from a book I have. And this pocket down here is a vintage playing card that you can upcycle and a 1920s bank note. This is wonderful here in this 1955 stamp collector's page pocket. And then this is from 1926. Look at this advertisement. Come on, Ford. Wow, right? It should probably be under glass. You could actually iron this carefully and look at this cornflakes ad. This is spectacular. I probably should have sold this separately on Etsy, but you know what? The lucky person who owns this journal gets to do that or just frame it or just keep it because it's fantastic. It really, really is. This is a great little vintage book page here with the jester writing in his, let's say, journal. I like that thought. Made a little pocket here of an 1800s book page. And this here is a plate from a vintage book of an, a very, very old painting. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of fun and that that's one of these plates that comes off and you can actually frame that as well if you wanted. Here's another wonderful uh, children's book plate here and uh, look at the two little boys on the rock there. And then here's a 1953 yearbook page with all the original autographs in there from students to each other. Another great plate here on the Hudson, the icebergs in the background, another page topper. A home ec book, how to how to hang your clothes out to dry. <laughs> this is a vintage glassing envelope for stamp collectors, and I put four vintage international stamps in there. It's a wonderful little uh, vintage music sheet here that I turned into a pocket, 
and more clusters. Just another fun children's page here, here. And, sorry, I'm always afraid to miss a page. It's always some fun, wonderful things there. Just hand stamped some there. California Troubadour poems with lots of journaling space as well. And this is a really fun vintage um, recipe book page, full color, when you pack that lunchbox. I, I honestly, if you can find these lunchbox and thermoses that are actual vintage, pick them up. They are just too much fun too much fun. I would take that to work any day of the week. Another lovely children's book page here. We've got um, this corner triangle pocket and in here I've got this lovely little children's book page with some antique paper on the back for journaling. And then I just put a little receipt in here from 1953 from the Drake Bakeries and that pocket there is made from an 1899 newspaper. And on the flip side of that I have three different antique papers. This is the dedication page on one to my father, the first artist I ever knew, and to my mother, the first historian. I just think that's lovely. The Valley of the Giants is from this book. And then this I just loved because it's an antique book, but it still has the public library um, stamp on it. So I thought that was really fun. Great journaling spots there. And another one up here, fun clusters. Another fun children's book page pocket here, and a little mini book made of all kinds of little... Uh, uh, antique papers. That's a French dictionary page in there. Just lots of really fun little pages for you to journal on. And this is from the 1800s here. That is a, a child's um, school project. The Last of the Mohicans. I guess it was on the book. Maybe a book report on that. So that's really kind of fun. And this postcard here is a full color and they're always really hard to come by. Uh, this is from I can tell by the font that that would be anywhere from 1910 to 1920. Another little children's book page there, a vintage botanical book page in the early 1900s wood uh, woodwork book. This one's on wood carving. Look at that. Gorgeous. Another antique book page there on top of an antique music sheet. Another children's book page and that brings us to the end with this vintage trim on here. So I hope you love it as much as I loved making it. Um, you can email me below if you have any questions or you can go to hyperstamper.etsy.com to purchase this and any other of my junk journals. Talk to you soon.